So you've heard about DevOps, maybe from a job listing, a co-worker, or just one of those buzzwords that keeps popping up. But you're not exactly sure where to start or which skills actually matter. Whether you're trying to land your first DevOps role, boost your resume, or just understand how modern development teams build, test, and deploy code at scale, you're in the right place. My name is Daniel, and today I am going to show you five of the best DevOps courses on Udemy, perfect for beginners, career switchers, or even seasoned IT pros looking to level up with tools like CICD, Docker, Kubernetes, and cloud platforms like AWS and Azure. Guys, make sure you check out all the useful links in the description after watching this video. There might be some nice discounts there. Let's get into it. DevOps and CICD for beginners. This course is designed to help you finally understand what all the fuss is about when it comes to DevOps, continuous integration, and continuous delivery, and why these practices are completely changing how software gets built and shipped today. What you'll learn. You'll get a clear, no-fluff intro to what CI, CD and DevOps actually mean and why they matter. Starting with the old-school way of building software, the course shows where the pain points were and how modern practices solve them. It breaks down big concepts like continuous integration, delivery, deployment and the DevOps mindset in simple, beginner-friendly terms. By the end, you'll not only understand how these methods speed up and improve development, you'll also get the why behind it all. So next time someone says DevOps pipeline, you'll actually know what they mean. Course features. This is a quick and focused course, just under an hour long, but it's packed with visuals. About 90% of the lessons are explained through illustrations and animations which makes everything super easy to follow, even if you don't have a technical background. Whether you're watching during your lunch break or binging it in one sitting, this course is built to keep things simple and clear. Course requirements. There is no need for any advanced knowledge to get started. If you have got a basic understanding of how software development works, that's more than enough. This course is made for beginners, so don't worry if terms like CI, CD pipeline sound intimidating right now. That's exactly what you're here to learn. Why this course? The instructor built this course to give you a clean, beginner-friendly intro before you ever touch a tool or try to follow a technical tutorial. It's the start here kind of course. Instead of overwhelming you with options and jargon, it helps you see the big picture and understand how DevOps and CI-CD actually solve real problems in modern software development. So if you've been curious about how tech teams deploy faster, catch bugs earlier and make better software, this is where it all starts. Let's jump into the next course. Kubernetes for the absolute beginners. Heard all the buzz about Kubernetes, but not sure where to start. This course is built for absolute beginners who want to get hands-on, not just watch slides. Whether you're a developer, sysadmin, or just curious, it breaks Kubernetes into simple, bite-sized lessons and real-time coding exercises. No rambling, no confusing jargon, just practical skills that stick. What you'll learn. You'll start with a clear, beginner-friendly intro to Kubernetes and why it matters in DevOps. Then you'll spin up your own cluster, locally and in the cloud with Google Cloud Platform. From there, you'll learn to deploy apps, write YAML configs, and work with pods, services, deployments, and more. Don't worry if that sounds overwhelming. Everything's explained step by step. By the time you're done, you'll be confidently launching and managing containerized applications like a pro. And yes, this is the kind of stuff that DevOps jobs love to see. Course features. This course is packed with value. You're getting over 6 hours of on-demand video and 37 hands-on coding exercises that run right in your browser. No setup nightmares. Plus, there are 20 helpful articles and even a downloadable resource to keep for reference. Each lesson builds on the last and every big concept is followed up with practical exercises, so you really get it. And yes, the course authors kept the content fresh with regular updates to match the latest Kubernetes versions. Course requirements. All you need is a basic understanding of system administration and access to a laptop. If you've ever installed software or used the command line, you're good to go. Seriously, this course assumes no prior experience with Kubernetes or containers. Why this course? Kubernetes is everywhere these days and it's a top skill employers are looking for. But let's be real, trying to learn it on your own can be a mess. That's where this course comes in. It keeps things simple and hands-on. You'll actually get your hands dirty, writing configs, launching clusters, and deploying real apps. By the end, you won't just get it. You'll be ready to use Kubernetes in real projects and maybe even land that DevOps job you've been thinking about. Time to check out what's next. 
Docker Mastery with Kubernetes. If you've been hearing about Docker, Kubernetes, and CI-CD but aren't sure how it all fits together, this course has you covered. Taught by a seasoned Docker captain, it's a straight-to-the-point, hands-on guide to mastering containers. Whether you're new to Docker or want to level up your workflow, you'll get practical examples, real-world tips, and updates that keep pace with the latest tools. What you'll learn? You'll start by getting Docker running locally and learning how containers work behind the scenes. Then you'll build full dev environments in containers. No more it works on my machine issues. From there, you'll dive into Docker Compose, write clean Docker files, build custom images, and even set up your own registry. Then it's on to the fun stuff. Swarm, Kubernetes, production deployments, and CI-CD with GitHub Actions. Course Features This isn't just a simple playlist of videos. You're getting a complete learning experience with hands-on assignments, helpful resources, and full access on both mobile and TV so you can learn anytime, anywhere. Plus, there's a Slack and Discord community with over 50,000 students and live monthly Q&As where you can ask your questions directly and stay up to date with what's new in the container world. Honestly, this community alone is worth showing up for. Course requirements. Now just a heads up. This course assumes you are not brand new to tech. You'll want to be comfortable using the terminal, understand basic Linux commands, and have some experience with virtual machines or creating cloud servers. Also, knowing the basics of Git and GitHub will help you get the most out of the CI-CD content. No need to buy any software, though. Everything you'll use is free and open source. Why this course? Containers and Kubernetes aren't just buzzwords. They're how modern apps get built. This course doesn't just teach the tools. It helps you think like a real DevOps engineer. You're learning from Brad Fisher, a Docker captain with tons of real-world experience who makes even the tough stuff easy to follow. Oh, and bonus? Part of your course fee goes to support open source causes like the Electronic Frontier Foundation and the Free Software Foundation. Guys, before we move on, I try to make my content fun instead of boring. And in return, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. All right, let's talk about the next one. Azure DevOps Fundamentals for Beginners. Ever wonder how companies like Amazon or Tesla ship features without breaking stuff? That's DevOps, and this course is your beginner-friendly intro, focused on Azure DevOps. Just clear demos that break down all the jargon, CI, CD, pipelines, Agile, you name it. And it's taught by Brian Kalp, a Microsoft certified trainer who makes complex stuff actually make sense. What you'll learn. No deep end here. You'll start by setting up your own Azure DevOps organization and learning the basics step by step. From managing work items to pushing code from your IDE, it's all hands-on. You'll build and run real pipelines, see how CI-CD works in action, and pick up the lingo as you go. By the end, you'll have deployed a real app and built a full DevOps workflow with Azure tools. Course Features The course includes on-demand video lessons, downloadable quick reference guides, and a step-by-step -step layout that's easy to follow, even if you've never worked with DevOps tools before. It's hands-on from the beginning. By the second lesson, you'll have something up and running. No dry theory, no fluff. Course requirements. You don't need to be a DevOps expert or even close. This course is made for beginners. If you've got a general understanding of cloud computing or Git workflows, great. But even if that's new to you, we explain the basics along the way. Everything's broken down in plain English and backed up with visual demos and guides. Why this course? Let's be real. DevOps isn't optional anymore. It's how modern apps get built, and companies need people who get it. This course gives you hands-on experience with Azure's tools. Whether you're in IT, managing dev teams, or just exploring a new career path, you'll build real skills, not just learn theory. And if you get stuck, the instructor's super responsive. Plus, there's a refund policy, so no pressure. Last up, but definitely worth your attention. AWS Certified DevOps Engineer Professional if you're working with AWS and ready to level up, this course is your guide to tackling the AWS DevOps Engineer Pro Cert in 2025. It's hands-on, practical, and built to help you actually connect the dots. Automation, scaling, CI, CD, and monitoring. You'll cover it all. By the end, you'll feel like you've already been working in a real DevOps team. What you'll learn. So what's the big picture here? You're going to learn how to pass the AWS Certified DevOps Engineer Professional Exam. Yes, 
But more importantly, you'll walk away knowing how to actually apply what you've learned on the job. The course will go over advanced AWS services, automation techniques, and real-world DevOps operations. Everything is geared toward making you not just exam ready, but job ready too. You'll learn how to automate workflows across AWS services, manage deployments the smart way, and handle operational challenges with confidence. And yes, the course has all the slides ready for download, so you can follow along or review later whenever it suits you. Course Features This course delivers clear, on-demand video content, no unnecessary extras, just the essentials you need to know. You'll also get a practice test, a few deep dive articles, and the ability to access it all on your phone or even your TV if that's how you roll. Everything's closed captioned, and audio descriptions are baked right into the lessons. Course Requirements Now, heads up, this is not a beginner-level course. You should already have an associate-level certification, like the AWS Certified Developer Associate. If you're already building things in Amazon Web Services and want to take it to the next level, you're exactly who this course is for. Why this course? There are tons of AWS courses out there, but this one's different. It's updated for the latest DOPC02 exam, packed with real-world examples, and taught by Stefan Marek, one of the top AWS instructors out there. You'll go beyond just passing the test and learn what it really takes to succeed as a DevOps pro. Plus, there's a 30-day refund, future updates, and a super active Q&A. So yeah, nothing to lose and a lot to gain. Final thoughts. So, are these Udemy DevOps courses worth it? In my experience, yes, they're a great way to get started. Whether you're new to DevOps or just want to sharpen your skills, these courses explain things clearly and let you learn by doing, not just watching. That said, it always comes down to what you need. I personally found them useful, especially for building confidence with tools like CI/CD, Kubernetes, and AWS. But whether they're right for you depends on your goals. Hopefully, this overview helped you figure out where to start. Which one are you thinking of trying first? Let me know in the comments. Feel free to check out the course-related links in the description below. You might find some discounts there. As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, until next time.